Hey, it's Ricardo and I'm still building Vincent. Yes, Vincent from the Black Hole Studio Scale. Last time you just saw how I built the helmet or the hat and 3D printed that and finished it to what you can see in front of you today. Moving on, what we're going to do is we're going to start concentrating on the red part where his eyes sit. Sort of the face, sort of area, we could possibly call it. So let's get into Simplify 3D. So this particular part of the model can be printed out in one piece, one huge circular piece, if you've got a print bed big enough. Now, as I've said in other videos, I've got the Creality CR10 S4, which means it's got a 400 by 400 build plate. As a result of this, this model can be printed out in one go on my particular printer. However, some are not so fortunate or have smaller printers due to space constraints and therefore the model has been split up into separate pieces of about 200 mil per piece. Four pieces making that up. It's quite a nice smooth model. It's going to be huge circular motions of the print head going around, lots of printer movement. It is going to put an awful lot of strain, I believe, on the printer. However, there are going to have to be some supports put on as well. Support round the eyes and on the lips. And the lips, I mean, the little ridge in between the two segments of the particular model. You can see it there now. Now, I mentioned earlier on about it being split into four pieces, into quarters. And you can see here how it would fit together should you need to do that if your build plate is not as large as the one that I've got of a 400 by 400. Easily fit on a 200 print bed, no problem at all. And the CR10 S3, that's got a 300 print bed. And guess what the CR10 S5 has? Yes, it's a 500 print bed. Anyway, you can see the, diam the dimensions up there. You know, it comes in well under 200, so it should be no dramas for people who have the smaller printers. However, I'm going to have a go at printing this all out in one continuous go. I've got some red filament um, from Sunlu, some Sunlu red filament that I've got from Amazon, and I'll put the link for that. I'm not affiliated with them um, in the comments and descriptions. It comes up with a nice finish as well, I believe, and, you know, it's um, low odour, which is good. So you don't kill yourself for, for fumes. You can see here when I've gone for the print preview settings where the supports are going to go. You can see them around the eyes, you can see them in that little ridge in the middle as well. Now, I printed this model out twice and the reason why I did this was simply because when I printed it out the first time it was a little bit too small to fit under the ridge on the body of Vincent and then the ridge on Vincent's helmet. It didn't fit nicely together and we'll come on to that a little bit later on. But I wanted to illustrate the fact that some of these materials will shrink and the bigger parts will shrink or I have found will shrink as well. Something to bear in mind. Also, um, I'm increasing it to 111% of its size. So an additional 11%. And as a result of this, this will should combat the shrinking um, and allow all the pieces to fit inside to each other, giving it a bit more rigid strength as well. Now, as a result of that, I'm going to be right on the outer edges of what the build plate can take. And I'm going to have to do a little bit of moving around. You can see the ear sections on the right at the bottom. Oh, I'm going to move those into the corners. There's a little bit more space there as well. Um, those protruding the furthest out from this particular model. And that I should have no problems there printing that out now all in one go. And this being the eye section of Vincent, as you can probably tell. Now, I'm using red filament, but hey, it's going to be painted. And as a result of which, you know, it really makes no difference what colour you paint it. But I don't know, while it was being built, it helped me visualise the entire model with it being red. And there you can see in this particular picture, the red model. All the, all the supports came away really easy. Only a little bit of dremeling to be done there. But like I say, this one, this particular item, was just a little bit too small. And when you fitted it together and offered it up to the other parts, you could see there was a slight gap where it wouldn't fit over that one particular lip. So as a result of which, I increased it um, up by 11%. That solved the problem. Um, and I was able to get rid of this one particular problem. And you always tend to see this sort of thing when you start putting the model together uh, and you have to go back and revisit certain models and reprint them out.
So this increase of 11% really did work for me, particularly on this model, to get it all fit together nice and snugly, and it looks like it should be there now. Okay, so there you have it, it's all primed and ready. Now, with the color of red, I went for Vauxhall Astra, or Vauxhall Flame Red 547, which was, I thought was a pretty close enough match for what I could see in the movies as well. It's a nice deep red with nice high gloss, as you would get from any enamel off a car. Anyway, I've been Ricardo, this has been printing Vincent Studio Scale and the face part or the eye part of Vincent. Check back for more videos. <laughs> <laughs>